<laughs> I'm really excited about just getting out there. Yeah, nah, no nerves. Maybe, no, nah, no nerves. I think there'll be some good hills out there. Very much looking forward to that second trek and that second pack run. That'll be fun. Some good rapids. I'm racing the weather. So hopefully we get off the course before too much rain. Yeah, a bit of anticipation. Yeah, it's good to see the lake's nice and calm. We can kind of see the point that we need to get to and yeah, we'll go and get into it. We're not home my damn Modi. Homie yeah, who yeah? Oh yeah! go papa e tene wa! Gotta go hard. Alright, so five, four, three, two, one. really celebrate on the west coast and do probably more than anywhere else in the country is there's a lot of water around so there's lots of rivers and lakes and lagoons and estuaries and bodies of water which enables us to have uh, you know really dynamic and interesting paddling which I, I think is quite unique for an adventure race. The start was pretty hectic here, yeah. pretty messy but it was all good. It was nice once we got into that creek. Phenomenal paddle, beautiful river, refreshing. Woo. Yeah, no, it'd be good to get off the, the arms and yeah, just walk. <laughs> get up onto the tops tonight. Uh, haven't actually looked at the map too much, but it's a bit of a climb, I suppose. It's adventure racing, it's just endlessly going to beautiful places and not seeing them because it's dark. The team enjoyed it, just slow going and slippery. The top three teams have all said that you know, there's tricky navigation finding their way safely through the Alpine country, that you, know, you travel through the night and uh, the navigation's a bit more technical, um, you know, you, you sort of seek more support from your team in the night time and yeah, I think it just, just adds another element to the experience. Jumble top and just finding our way there. It was really yeah. misty and it was dark. And yeah, we probably wasted an hour just going down the wrong ridge and then trying to ride ourselves and pretty much went back to the start and started it all again. Condensed nature of the area means that the teams will experience a lot of different terrain and environments and vegetation zones in an incredibly short period of time and, and to me that's what's really special about the true west. For anyone uh, wanting to do an adventure race I think the true west is an amazing one to do because the west coast is just so spectacular uh, for that very reason and you know we're catering for really wide variety of people and abilities and skills so yeah if anyone's interested I think they just need to commit and get into it and be part of the action. 